published 0913 EDT, the 8th of September 2017, updated 1351 EDT, the 8th of September 2017. Slaven Binnick has said West Ham's co-owner David Sullivan likes to talk and that it is not strictly true that he was offered Renato Sanchez and Grzegorz Krikowiak. It comes after the Hammers missed out on sporting Lisbon's William Carvalho in deadline day, prompting Sullivan to put out a statement about the transfer window activity. In it, he claimed Billick turned down the loan signing of Sanchez, who has since been deemed one of the signings of the summer by Swansea. West Ham manager has denied the club were close to signing Renato Sanchez this summer. Sanchez has opted to work once more with Paul Clement at Swansea City this season. Billick was reportedly interested in loaning Grzegorz Krikowiak, but he ended up at West Brom. David Sullivan likes to talk, it's his right to be able to. Billick said. I wanted the player Carvalho and that is not exactly what happened with those two you mentioned Sanchez and Krikowiak. I wanted Carvalho and it looked likely, and to be fair, during my time at West Ham, it's very common that when it looks like a player is going to happen, that two or three other names someone throws in and that distracts you from the main target and that's what happened. Billick said West Ham missed out on Carvalho due to money. That transfer didn't happen because it didn't happen, Billick said. You know the stories. We wanted players and it didn't happen. Portugal international William Carvalho finds himself at the center of a war of words. Billick also missed out on signing Carvalho during the closing stages of the window. West Ham owners David Sullivan left and David Gold claimed to have emailed a £23 million offer. Sportings communication director Nuno Sarareva disputed the validity of the email offer. We didn't it and it was definitely money. I know I wanted the player but as far as I know, we have been in talks with Sporting Lisbon. Official or not, I don't number. I don't do these things. I suggested the player, I wanted the player and we talked to them. It didn't happen because the money was too high. The fallout from the Carvalho saga has seen Sullivan and fellow co-owner David Gold labelled the Dildo Brothers by Sporting's president. Binnick was asked about a comment by a reporter at his press conference and answered which comment I thought about coming with a lawyer. Today there have been issues. Come on, say it, it's funny, it made me laugh. The emails that were leaked showed the structure of a potential offer from the Hammers. One of the two emails that were leaked purporting to show a bid from West Ham Sporting's president Bruno de Carvalho called the West Ham owners the Dildo Brothers.